your rib cage. It seemed like you took a shot from Noel yeah. in the third quarter. <laughs> How you feeling there? Yeah. Um, it felt really good, man, to be out there. Like really good. I just, you know, I kind of almost forgot, you know, how it felt to be out there, man. Uh, but I had fun, you know, being out there with my teammates, just you no know, getting up and down. Um, and yeah, my rib is good. You know, he's kind of knocked the win on me, but I'm okay. Matt Vator. Uh, Kim, Kim, obviously with everything going on in the world at the moment, is wearing that, that, uh, that t-shirt mean a little bit more and tomorrow mean a little bit more? Of course. Of course, you know, I'm okay with a special man, special man. And, you know, he's done so much, you know, during his time, you know, to help us live the way we live now and, you know, be able to be free how we are right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to mean a lot, you know, with you know, everything that's been, that's been going on. Chris Ryan. Yeah, Kemba, just what were your kind of goals and objectives and getting out there here for the first time and mm -hmm. looking at the stat line or anything like that? Uh, or you just wanted to get the feel of the game, given the fact you hadn't really practiced at all with the, with, with the guys? Yeah, you know, I think for the most part, just getting out here and just, you know, just really seeing how I feel, making my moves. Um, you know, I've been feeling really, feeling really good during my workouts and stuff, but I wanted to see how I felt during the games. Um, and I felt really good, man. You know, I felt really comfortable making my moves. Um, you no know, pain free, you know, which you know I haven't been for a very, very long time. You know, I kind of almost feels weird actually, um, you no, know, not having pain. You know, it was if that makes sense. You know, it's kind of a weird feeling. Um, I've been I've been hurting for a very long time, so you know, I was really just happy to get out there, man. Like super, super excited. Um, yeah, it was fun. Can't wait to get back out there. Mark D'Amico. Hey, Kemba. Welcome back to the lineup. It was good to see you out there. Um, I know that before this game, and Chris mentioned this in the last question, you really didn't have much time to practice with the team before going out and playing this game. How important are the next couple of days going to be for you in particular to kind of get a rhythm um, with this year's team? And then how important are these two days in general for the whole team to kind of iron some things out before that yeah, trip? Yeah. I get my rhythm, you know. Um, just a matter of time. I'm not in, I'm not in any type of rush. Uh, now, obviously, I want to play well, you know, but it just doesn't happen that way sometimes. You know, it doesn't happen that fast. You know, I'm just going to continue to work hard and get my shots up, and you know, continue to get get to my spots, um, shoot my open shots, and you know, my rhythm will come. It's a long season. We still got so many more games left, and you know, I think to, today, you know. My teammates were so excited that I was back, kind of just sat around and, you know, watched me, you know, they wanted me to do so well, wanted me to shoot and, you know, wanted me to get back right away. You know, I'm trying to tell them, like, you know, let's just play ball. Like, don't worry about me, you know? Um, so, yeah, we, we still got to get back into, you know, we got to get that chemistry back. And, you know, I've been, I've been on for a while. Like you said, I haven't been playing with the team. I haven't been practicing much. So, you know, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, we'll be fine. You know, we're still missing guys. You know, it's going to be like this probably throughout the course of this year. So, you know, we just got to we gotta adjust. We got to adapt and be ready. Tom Westerholm. Hey, Kemba. Just in, in terms of ramping up, you had a minutes limit tonight. Do you know how long you might have that limit? I don't. I don't. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I hope it's over next game. <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be, you know, for a few games. You know, I'm just getting back in. You know, we just want to see how my knee reacts after these games and stuff like that. So it'll ramp up, though. No, I'll, I'll get there. It's no rush, man. You know, it's no. I already took my time coming back. So you no, know, we're just gonna keep. You know, just keep taking our time. You know, until I'm, you know, full go. Last couple of questions for Kemba. We'll go to John Corrales. Hey, Kemba, you talked about that chemistry just a second ago. Um, what, what do you? What's your first impression? Playing, you know, getting back in there, playing with Jalen, especially after Jalen has has grown his game to you know this season. What what are you seeing? Where what adjustments do you think you might have to make after being out there for for this first time? That I might have to make. Yeah, just because you know, it, or are there any adjustments that you have to make? No, none, none, not at all. He just has to keep on being super aggressive, and that's it. You know, with me, 
you know, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to do my part. You know, I'm going to play hard. I'm going to shoot my open shots. And, you know, he's killing it. I don't want him to think that just because I'm back, he can't keep killing it because he can. You know, that's, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to continue to encourage him, you know, just to be great, you know, which he's been all year, you know. Um, I just want to try to add on to it. You know, that's it. Final question for Kemba, Cassidy Hubbard. Hi, Kemba. I was I was wondering, um, you were talking about, you know, feeling comfortable. I'm sorry about my daughter right there. It's all good. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you were talking about, you know, feeling for the first time what it's like to not feel hurt in a long while. Mm -hmm. When did you feel that? When did when did you feel fully healthy? Uh, you mean today, or you mean just in general? Both, I guess. Um, when did I feel fully healthy? I don't know. It's 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 been it's just been like I don't know. I can't say I can't tell you exactly when, but you know, it's just like as the days go by, like mentally. I'm just, it's just like every day, every day, I'm just not thinking about it, you know? Um, which at one point, it's like mentally, that's all I could think about, you know? Like on the court, like in the bubble, that's all I could think about was was my knee, you know? Every step I took, every move I made, it was, it was something. Um, even when I wasn't playing. So, you know, now, you know, I'm out there and I'm trying to do a step back and the first thing in my mind is like, damn, this is probably going to hurt, you know? Not even worried about making making or missing the shot. It's about the pain. So today, you know, when I'm out there, I'm making my moves that, I'm, that I normally make, and you know, I don't feel anything. It's just it's joy. You know, it's, I'm, I'm I'm excited. You know, I put in a lot of work. You know, I really attack my rehab, and you know, to to to. Get